Hi there! Welcome to a new LiveFX tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some basics of the stage manager and how you can add light cards into your scene to enhance the lighting on the stage if requested by the DOP. In my project I have prepared a projection setup. Let's quickly go over that. Enter the LiveFX tab by double-clicking onto the projection setup and go to the LiveFX menu. From here we can open the stage manager which shows our stage. As you can see we have three walls on our stage. The big back wall, a ceiling wall and a small side wall. Going to the camera menu down here I can move the virtual camera manually since currently I do not have any camera tracking going on. The content for our three walls is being sent out via one single UHD sized NDI signal to the LED processor. We have mapped the image content in the LED processor the same way we did it here in the Mapper tab. Looking at the node tray over here, we can see our source clip feeding into the EQ2 wall plugin for each wall we have on our stage. Also the 2D to wall plugin which creates an alpha channel which is used for the frustum highlight or a set extension. All feed into the projection node at the very top. Now going to the node menu over here, we can open up the channel controller. It shows our three inputs. Switching to the displays tab, we can manage which view should go to which display output on our machine. The NDI1 output, which is going to the LED processor, should for instance show the stage mosaic that we set up in the stage manager. We can of course also set our main view to show the stage mosaic, like such. But for now I will leave it to show the active channel, which means the channel we have selected here in the channels tab. As you can see we also have a split view which you can enter pressing hotkeys S or D or by using the corresponding buttons down here. Let's jump into dual view. If we unlink the two views we can scale and position them individually by using alt drag to scale and space drag to position. The split view drop down here in the channel controller dictates what is being shown on the right side. Since on the left I'm currently monitoring the main back wall, I could for instance set the right view to show me the ceiling wall. And if I now turn the camera upwards, it'll also show me the frustum highlight accordingly. By the way, selecting the frustum outer layer here on the projection node, you can dial in the grade for the outer frustum area. Let's make it a tad brighter. Nice. Now, let's set the split view to show the stage mosaic again and switch back to the channels tab. Let's assume the DOP wants us to position a light card on the ceiling wall. There are two ways to do that, depending on whether we've set the grade target to channel or master. Let's start by selecting channel number 2, which is the ceiling wall, and setting the grade target to channel. This will add the light card to the selected channel only. Down here in the Life Fix menu we have the Quick Paths dropdown, which lets us add a couple of things, one of which is the light card. Done. Now we can position the light card here on the ceiling wall. However, as you can see right away, we cannot position it outside the ceiling wall. To be able to do that, we should rather add the light to the projection node, or in other words, the master. So let's delete this light card layer here and switch to master in the channel controller. Again, go to the LiveFix menu and add the light card once more. And as you can see, we can now position the light card all across the stage mosaic independently from the channel we have currently selected. This is where the split view showing the complete stage mosaic is very helpful. Now of course we can change the size of the light card, like this, and we can click into the color pot here to change the brightness or hue as well. If we need to punch in really precise numbers, we can switch on numeric here and enter RGB values even in 8, 10 and 16-bit code values. Hit OK on the far left to confirm. In the canvas menu we can make the light card softer or move it around numerically. That's it for the basics of the stage manager and adding a light card to an existing projection setup. Hope this was useful to you and see you next time. Bye!